What's going on, guys? It's Boy John from the Game here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It is Monday, the 6th of July, and we're just hanging out, having a good time, having fun. Let's go ahead and get into a quick team recap so I can just jump in to the meat, nets, and the gritty of this episode as we're going to be doing a lot of interesting things. We've got Daddy, the Machamp. I have to say it in that such an inflection tone, just because why not? With Storm Throw, Brick Break, Liquidation, and Cotton God. We've got Sandy, the Grapple with Liquidation, Headbutt, Moonblast, and Dragon Claw with the Expert Belt, um, which is always beneficial for, you know, Sandy. Sandy's like, give me that belt. Then we got Papa, R2 Cannon, with the moves Liquidation, X Scizor. Play Rough and Dizzy Punch. Then we got Nick, the best French maid in all of the universe, with Beast Boost as an ability, Evia Light Holding, Photom Geyser, Moon Geist Beam, Earth Power, and Volt Switch. We just gotta. We got it in the nick of time because we're gonna fight Olivia this episode and the stupid totem. So then we got Feta with Ice Body, Flower Shield, Discharge, Waterfall, and Hyper Fang. And I got Drake with Sparkling Aria, Psychic, Yawn, and Dragon Dance holding the amulet coin because money, 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 money. Uh, but what I'm going to do is get Nick in the front of the party because Nick is going to be our hard carry for the Olivia fight, hopefully. With the diverse moveset that it has, I don't see why not. Lily heals you anyway, so it's like it's a beneficial thing just to go in here and just smack it. We can just destroy Olivia with Nick, you know. I think Nick would love that in real life. But, I mean, I think that, honestly, this is going to be a pretty easy episode. I hope. I hope this episode is a chill episode where there's nothing to worry about. Oh, who am I kidding? It's Pokemon Randomized Nuzlocke. There's always going to be something I have to worry about. Like, every single episode, there's going to be one Mon that decides it wants to destroy you. Like, last episode was freaking Starly, so, like, let's be honest. There will be no episode that'll be a, a shortage of fun. But, you know, it's what it is. It really is. It truly is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. But, I hope you guys are having fun, chilling, doing whatever you can at the moment. Let me know how your day is going, since it is probably around 3 o'clock Eastern because I get my videos, or at least I want to try and start getting my videos up at noon, which is why I'm actually rec recording this on the 5th, breaking the fourth wall here. I'm a day early because your boy wants to have some fun and just chill and hang out with y'all, not even have to worry about an episode. Although this dang hoo hoo video, I swear, is going to be more popular than anything I've done on my entire channel. Oh, it already is. It's already almost, it's going to be, by the time you're seeing this, that Hoo Hoo video probably has double the amount of views that anything else on my entire channel has. It's kind of ridiculous. This dang Hoo Hoo video is about to eclipse the 3,000 views. It's like, and YouTube just gave it another spike. So not only did this Hoo Hoo video that already had the most views on my entire channel, it just got another spike from YouTube. So it's getting double the views that it was getting last night. And I was like, naturally, you know, you can't make it easy. You can't just be like, oh, let's get this. It's, it's no, 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 no. It's, let's get this Hoo Hoo video to be the most popular video and buy even more. Photom Geyser's the, not the 160 bags power one, right? It is the one that I was thinking of. Awesome. Let's just pop, oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're getting bug bited instantaneously because naturally you have it, of all things. Um, and we're slower. Wow, Nick, you're supposed to do better. You're supposed to be better than that, Nick. I'm sorry. You are not supposed to not even do half of the 100 base power move like that. Um, bug bite. How do I want to handle that? How do I want to go about it? You're a dragon type. Papa can play rough. Papa loves to play rough. You know it. Like, duh. It's Papa Agron. Since when have you not seen Papa Agron play, play rough? Like... I don't know. I've, I've never seen it be subtle. Um, but anyway, you know, we're just making all these jokes. We're just having fun. We're killing it. It's a Olivia fight. Like, 
there's we can make jokes today today is one of the days that we can actually make a joke and it'd be fine smackdown why does this thing have coverage for literally my entire team first off that's not okay second off be gone because yeah it should have been okay good Jeez, olivia out here wanted to kill me um duh this is literally what every every person in the game wants to do uh surprise they actually want you dead um so yeah olivia's level 31 hmm how how am i gonna wow that 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 boost just like skyrocketed out of nowhere <gasps> she has a boss she normally has that's cute okay like you can't say that that's not cute if it's if it is actually midnight like and wrong that 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 was meant to be midnight like and rock midnight 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 ah it's oh it's dusk form hello it's actually the best form Naturally, Olivia's just gonna have the best form of like and rock, but it's got Brian. It's gonna do nothing, and we kill it with the storm throw. Let's get it. Um. Oh wow, we didn't actually kill it. Holy cow! Why is my team just not killing things? Hello? Why? It should be killing things like nobody's business. Like we have a good team. I don't know why my team just decides it doesn't want to do anything. But like with a stab, super effective move, I figured, I figured I'd kill it. Apparently not. Cause yeah, like get oh wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we accept saber! Yes! Make us grow stronger. I was not gonna say what I was going to say. Y'all know what I was gonna say, but sometimes I actually have a filter and it actually works. Um surprise. Um But we're a plus one attack, which means that you better not send in a flying type or I'll be mad. Wait, 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 We have liquidation. It's just a Fletchender. A Fletchender should not be able to kill Daddy. Like, Daddy should not die to a Fletchender. No way, shape, or form. Fire Blast. Yeah, we're good. You live that. You live that. Easy. Easy. Bye. If Fletchender was the best thing you could handle us with, we're good. We should sweep now. Let's go. See, we play this game right. Except for, I don't know why she used Giga Drain. Crow gunk. Poison fighting. It also resists, but we're gonna stay in. It's another resist. Just a little unfortunate. She's just got so many resistances. Turbo Blaze. That is totally fine. We should be able to still kill you with a liquidation and be all set. Um at plus one, I mean, I don't know. I might not kill a Crow Gunk at plus one. Ah, oh, it's my negative attack nature. Dang it. That that bit me in the butt there. The uh, negative attack nature. But there's nothing I can do. It's got, I just got to live with the fact that it's got a negative attack nature. I just got to live with the fact that it's got a negative attack nature and just move on. That's kind of what I have to do. Um, Kogunk is dead. Easy, instantaneously. And what's next? A Drowsy. Yay. She has a team that literally counters this mon. Okay. Nick, it is a Drowsy. If you cannot hit a Drowsy with a Moonguise Beam and kill it... You're gonna get in. You're gonna get in trouble. That's all I'm saying. You are going to get in trouble if you cannot kill with a Moongeist beam. It's got a bite. Why? Oh, we flinched. Good job, Nick. You're supposed to be like a powerful mon that doesn't put me in terrible situations. <laughs> and what have you done? Not done half to a Kingdra and got flinched. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for being my lead mon. I appreciate it so very much that my lead mon just can't kill a mon. Like, bruh, I would love it if you could, please and thank you. Um, luckily, you're defensive enough, which is good. Like, uh, uh, Evie Light's helping massively here, but it is defensive enough to take hits and do what it needs to do in that regard. So, thank goodness there. But Moogai Speed if it does not one shot, I am going to be a little bad, bruh. It doesn't even do half. What is this game? You have 75 base special defense, and that was super effective. You should have killed with the 75 base special attack. But apparently not. Apparently, Nick just want to kill a soul, which I, I can respect. I don't like, you know, I don't under I understand that. I get that greatly. You know, you don't have to, but it's kind of Pokemon. You kind of are supposed to kill things, and if you don't want to kill things, you can't be on the team. Plain and simple. Like, funny enough, I had the same exact problem with Gothitelle. I, in uh, Monthlock, I had the same exact problem. It just didn't want to kill things. It didn't want to do things. And I'm like, oh my gosh, stop flinching, Nick. 
I swear, you're gonna, like, die. Like, I will let you die right here, right now, if you want to not do anything for the team. I swear. Like, kill this thing. Watch it have innards out and actually die. No, okay, we're good. <laughs> I was gonna say, watch that happen. Special, oh, you leveled up. If it's about special attack, it is. Okay, see? See, Nick? Your plus one special attack. Watch, it's gonna have something that can handle this. Altaria. It could be Meg. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Well, if it's a regular Altaria, we can Volt Switch and be fine. If it's a Mega Altaria... Then we Moon Geist Beam, or um, Photom Geyser, at plus one. So I've got a plan for both of them. But it's probably a Mega, knowing my luck. Yep. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> Dude, Olivia had a team. She was stacked for this battle. Um, just saying. She was mega stacked. She was like, yeah, um, let me just Dragon Pulse you in the face right now. Well, if she does that, I'm going to be like, I wouldn't even be surprised. Reflect type. Why? You just made yourself less of a threat. I mean, I'm not even going to question that because now I can Moon Geist me even kill or do a lot of, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, let's not get a Geomancy boost. I would prefer that. Nick, I swear, if you don't, yes, okay. If you don't kill in two, thank goodness you do. Oh, wait, no, you don't, because the Geomancy is going to... Ah, special defense. Bruh. Geomancy Mega Altaria. Nick, this, the situation, my guy. The situations are not helping. Because, yeah, you don't... Oh, you do kill. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Woo! Okay, that was an adrenaline rush. And going into a totem battle doesn't make me feel any better. Let's be fair. Like, literally, we got a totem battle after this. And that ends this episode. Like, this... I, under, I understand that this is a quick episode. And people are going to be like, wow, you did... You achieved nothing in this episode. No, we achieved a totem... A uh, fight with Olivia at a totem. Like, that's a lot to achieve in an episode. It just feels so fast. And I think that's what I want, right? I want to create an environment of which the game and everything feels fast, right? Like, 20 minutes goes by in two. That's, that's what I would love. I would love to create an environment in which 20 minutes, because for me, it doesn't even feel like it's been 12 minutes. But, like, I, that's what I want. I want to create that environment where it's like, whoa, what's going to happen? How, what, how is this going to happen? And today, right, I was looking and scrolling through, like, what people have posted today. Nobody in my subscription list posted a let's play video or a video like that let's play videos are fading and that is phenomenal for me because if i can break the mold in let's play content bruh like boom like if i can keep you guys entertained for let's play content yeah am i talking fast yeah is this like like am i fast paced yes yes are there a lot of videos of course that's a lot to keep track of and a lot to happen so like of course, like, there is so many different things that have to go on to make Let's Play work. And I understand that, which is why I like having the 20 minute, 20 minute videos. Because, yes, they're shorter, which means, yes, there's more content. So, yes, it's beneficial for me because I have more content. But I'm not even monetized, so it doesn't matter how many videos I make. I am just trying to find a structure that works. And if this is a structure that works for me then that's an amazing structure to have because especially with a uh, project that i have planned in my mind that i have to talk to troll about because i have a, a series that troll tried to make a live series tried to troll tried to make a live series of this series and it was a great idea and like in theory and like and i loved the idea it's just the execution of that idea in a live series aspect didn't really work so i want to create that recreate that series in a new fun cool way um and it would be like an eight month project it would not be a short project because basically what that project would entail is playing gen one through gen seven probably gen eight at that because at that time stuff like i would have people like helping me with that at gen eight because but i think that it would be a phenomenal series idea to do. And especially coming off of Mothlock, right? Because I have now played every single Pokemon game. So imagine a series, and Troll tried to do this, where you carry a team from Gen 1 
you basically you carry this nuzlocke and you carry the nuzlocke from generation one to gen two to gen three to gen four to gen five like you would carry this nuzlocke and i would need to consult jonas probably to figure out what layouts would look like and how i would want to do it and everything else like that because again it would be an eight month project because it depending on how many videos go up because i would be recording this project and it, it, there's so many dependencies that come in with a project like i'm thinking of right now but again it's an original project yes will youtube not push it out and of course youtube's not going to push out original content we've learned this but do i care no D do i want to create a series that is new and energizing and fun and like can be a one-off kind of a series even though it's an entire eight month project of course like this project in and of itself just gen 7 the way that i'm recording these videos they take time and imagine that's that's basically eight series in a row and that's a lot like eight series but i just feel like the uniqueness of the series that i'm thinking of in my head is go or like and like the way i want to run it i think how unique it would be that and again it's something nobody said before like troll attempted in the live stream format that's why i need to talk to him about it that is dupes clause by the way uh so i would enjoy it i think you guys would enjoy it and then you guys can make stories of specific pokemon like what if a gen 1 pokemon from the gen 1 randomizing series lasts up until generation 8. think about that if a mon from gen 1 was on your team for eight months or an entire series like your starter of course your starter from gen 1 is not gonna last unless it's Kawhi the dragonite but like imagine that for a minute and like the only thing that i could see holding me back that's also dupes is the abilities thing right because and i've talked a little bit about it but you can't really format format the abilities the way you want to format the abilities in pika hex because that's what i would be using to carry the pokemon over and i i you can't i mean abilities don't matter until gen 3 luckily because their abilities don't exist until generation 3 so you can kind of i guess no you can't you can't even do that because there's no ability capsules until gen 6 so like it's it is difficult right it is a difficult thing to carry the only oh eggs 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 oh my god i figured it out let's go dog we figured it out eggs you know sometimes it just takes talking with you guys hanging out having a good time eggs we carried over with eggs now generation four and five would be a little bit difficult because i don't know how it would carry over the way that i want it to and the abilities are gonna be different in every generation so i can't just program a pokemon to have blop ability i wish i could if i can figure out a way if i can figure out a way we might be able to do that see i am innovative i want to change the face of the pokemon let's play it it's, i know people don't want to do that i don't care if other people don't want to do it what i care about is i want to do it i want to provide content for you all and hang out have a great time with you all because you all are amazing right you all are beautiful and don't forget that do not forget y'all are amazing so anyway what i'm gonna do is we're gonna catch this thing because catching this thing is awesome level 22 miss magius unfortunately won't learn any more moves we learned that from trilink i'm sorry culpa that you got stuck with this thing um but i got stuck with a rosary so i'm not even like i'm not even gonna say that it's any better because karai i definitely got the one up on that one freaking salamance to start like bruh <laughs> but we definitely should have given him uh two cannon nick wants to learn fire punch nick no <laughs> you're not learning a physical move if you can't hit with a special move um but our miss magius we are gonna name this frosty after frosty bullpicks because frosty bullpicks commented nice in the comment section below um if you guys comment you guys have an opportunity to be named after a pokemon member non-member it doesn't even matter i just want to hang out and chill with y'all and i don't have access to members but even when i did it's like it, uh, the way i'm gonna run it is so different it's weird like the way that i'm planning to move on with this channel is so out off the wall and off the box so i hope 
speaking of off the box, get in that box. Um, it's going to be an interesting transition, and I have lots of thoughts, right? And there's so many thoughts that I have running through my mind about what I want to make the channel and, like, how I want to deal with it and what it is. And I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing that, like, I have so many ideas and stuff. But, of course, it is contradictory, right? Because a lot of people like the normality and the basis. So I am taking a risk by doing something that nobody's done before. Monthlock was a big risk in and of itself. But... Love you, Ryan. Thank you for supporting. Same with Quick GG and Chillin and Benetrill and Naruto. And there's so many people that just joy Nick. Like, there were so many people. Major Black Rose, Natasha. Like, y'all made it what it was. And don't even don't even say otherwise, because it's the truth. You guys made a month off what it was. And Again, we couldn't have done Monthlock without you guys. Like, there was a definite shift once Ryan came in. And you can't even deny it, the shift that happened. Now, mind you, it's only because, I don't know, I look up to Ryan as a Pokemon creator. So, of course, like, why wouldn't there be a content shift if your second favorite YouTuber next to Shady Penguin comes into your channel and likes your idea so much that he's going to put it in a video of his own, like, Bruh, why? I wonder why there was a content, why there was a shift, because, you know, somebody you admire so much and so greatly is just like, that is a good idea. That. And it's like, whoa, 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 what? Like, that's a good idea? Like, <laughs> it's weird. Like, it definitely was weird, for sure. Like, I could talk for years about how that experience definitely was interesting and not something I ever would have imagined ever happening. But I will save you that. I will 100% save y'all that. And I'm sure Joy's like, oh my God, thank you. And Nick's probably like, oh my God, thank you. But like, <laughs> but it's just fun. I, I'm so happy. Like today I got a chance to talk with Beegers. And that was an amazing experience in and of itself as well. Because, you know, Beegers and I our versus partners so being able to talk and kind of get back into the routine of talking and hanging out and doing that stuff was beautiful in and of itself aaron and i are going to have another chance to talk which is the cage live partner that you saw on saturday uh and so that'll be cool in and of itself too because the next episode is like the next episode is actually a really fun episode and that goes out wednesday um, so two days from now over on his channel. Um, so it is definitely really cool to see all of that stuff. And you know, I said we were going to go to a totem. That's next episode, unfortunately, because we are already eclipsing the close to the 25 minute mark, which is a little sad because I really wanted to take this on, um, like really, really badly. But now I have to wait an episode just like you guys. But luckily I don't have to wait an entire day. I just get to wait like 20 minutes, but <laughs> cause I typically, I will record these episodes if I, like, and here's the thing. I don't bulk record, per se. I record when I'm feeling good. As long as I have the content, right? If I'm feeling good, ya boy's recording. If I'm not feeling that great, ya boy probably isn't recording or is doing something that he has to do. So it's definitely, like, you, I want you guys to see, like, the pre- like, Then live streams, you know? I live stream, like, whenever's clever and don't have a schedule. And that's something I really need to work on. I need to have a schedule for my streaming and stuff like that. Because I feel like not having a schedule kind of hinders me in a lot of ways. But the problem is, is, like, with the, like, when I actually go back to work and all that stuff, I don't have a schedule at work. So if I don't have a schedule at work, then how can I make a schedule for YouTube, right? Like, it is literally impossible. Which is why I want to start stressing making videos pop up at 12 o'clock my time. If I can stress that and get that to work the way that I like want it to. So if I can post a video every day, 12 o'clock, you can be on my channel and you'll see a new video. Like, I think that would be beautiful in and of itself because you guys get to know. 12 o'clock, check the channel, it's there. And so I will be working on that. I will be working on trying to attain that because... Honestly, it does help out having a schedule. Now, it's definitely weird because you guys like I need. To, I also need another series like a Soul Link or something. I need a series that goes on four times uh, four times a week. And I feel like the only person I can get that with is probably Ryan, which is kind of busy doing his own thing. But like, like a four time a week series that is a full time series, right? 
And I want to take that on. I really do. Because then it can be Monday. Like, and the same, like his normal upload schedule. Monday, Tuesday, Friday, thir or Thursday, Friday. Well, Friday definitely comes before Thursday. That's a fact. Uh, but yeah, like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Because then it can break up the solo content. Because right now, as it stands, I don't have much to break up the solo content. I've got a Thursday and a Saturday upload. That doesn't really work. So like... It would be better if I had a four times a week soling because I don't have a soling partner. Ryan, if you're listening, don't have a soling partner. But yeah, um, I'm sure he has a soling partner. What am I talking about? But anyway, um, like I, I have to make the joke. I have to make the joke. Okay, you know what? Nope, I have to make the joke because I literally was going to make a command for it. It was called exclamation point Ryan. And the command was going to say, did you know I'm five days older than Ryan? Because literally... The amount of times that I've said that, it almost warrants a command of, in and of itself. Like, Joy would probably say that. Joy would probably say it warrants a command because of how many times I say that. But that is okay. And we are ending this episode off on the most high energy I think I've ever ended off an episode. But if Wit could stop talking, then we could actually end the episode because that's what we've been waiting for to end the episode. There we go. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Really does appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Get this content out there because we are so much stronger together. I love you all. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace.